A few weeks ago, the big-brained genius Elon Musk unveiled this, the Tesla Cybercab. Finally, after years upon years of delays, the Tesla fully autonomous robo-taxi is finally here, and for only $30,000. Yeah, right. If you literally haven't been born yesterday, you probably called bullshit on all of this, and for good reason. In this video, I'll make the point that the Tesla Cybercab, at least in its current state, is a complete fraud. And even if it somehow gets onto the road in a rushed, pre-alpha phase, how it's most likely never coming to Europe. Before the video starts, please consider subscribing, it would be much appreciated. Thanks and on to the video. Supposedly, the Tesla Cybercab is a fully autonomous robo-taxi, able to operate without any input from a human driver, with an alleged cost of less than $30,000. The idea is, you call the robo-taxi, most likely through an app, and a self-driving vehicle comes up and opens its doors. You step in, and it drives you to your destination, with zero human input. However, I call bullshit on absolutely everything about it. In my opinion, the Tesla Cybercab is nothing more than smoke and mirrors, it's fake, the technology is not real, it's just another empty Elon Musk promise. First, let's look at the Cybercab's autonomous driving. Autonomous driving is divided into six levels, with each level symbolizing more advanced technology. Level zero means that the car has no autonomous driving functionality, and that a human driver has to control everything in the car manually. At the other end of the spectrum, level five means that the car is able to fully drive itself, with no input required from the driver. Concept level five cars don't even have pedals or steering wheels. The most advanced level we've been able to get to, as of November 2024, is level 3, on the newest Honda and Mercedes-Benz vehicles. And now, Tesla claims that it has cracked full level 5 autonomous driving, completely leapfrogging the competition. Second of all, Mercedes-Benz uses an array of cutting-edge technology to enable its level 3 autonomy, such as radar, lidar, cameras and ultrasonic sensors, allowing for very highly detailed processing of the car's surroundings. In contrast, Tesla's current cars, and even the Cybercab, only use cameras. I'm sure that the visual processing technology of Tesla cars is impressive. However, I don't think you can really software your way out of this one. Using only cameras doesn't provide the car with the necessary information to be able to safely drive itself from point A to point B. We are already seeing numerous near misses and crashes caused by Tesla Autopilot users. And remember, that's only level 2 autonomous driving. If we were to adopt fully autonomous, level 5 self-driving, there is very little room for error. Cars are heavy machines capable of high speeds, any error in the hardware or software is gonna potentially cause injuries or even death. In its current state, releasing the Tesla Cybercab onto public roads would be a great way to fill up Tesla's legal department with lawsuits. And with how Elon Musk conducts himself, they've already got loads on their plate. Especially here in Europe, we are not really keen on unproven, barely tested cars going at high speeds on their own. Tesla's full self-driving, which can only be considered level 2 autonomous driving, still isn't fully approved on European roads. And to top it all off, a futuristic, fully self-driving car for less than $30,000 is practically impossible, at least without huge subsidies or without Tesla taking a huge loss on every car sold. Considering that the Tesla Model 3, a much less advanced car, and with the benefits of economies of scale, runs you $35,000 with the US Electric Vehicle Federal Tax Credit, I doubt that the Cybercab will cost $30,000 if it even comes out. However, the Cybercab isn't the only thing unveiled at the Tesla V Robot event. The Tesla Cybervan is a supposed level 5 self driving vehicle capable of carrying up to 20 people. From now on, I'll call it the Tesla minibus, because that's exactly what it is. I have to applaud Elon Musk for one thing, at least he had the restraint to not call it something like Tesla Hyper Sigma Chungus Auto Loop or whatever. The Tesla minibus is bullshit for multiple reasons. First, as with the Cybercab, I sincerely doubt that Tesla has level 5 autonomous driving tech ready, especially when the vehicles are equipped only with cameras. Second, look at the thing. The Tesla minibus is so low to the ground that you couldn't even stick the remnants of Twitter's valuation down there. 
even if, somehow, this vehicle got approved for usage on public roads, a piece of space-age technology could completely obliterate it. Introducing... The Speed Bump. If the Tesla minibus rolls over this little thing, chances are that it's either going to get stuck, or the bottom is getting scraped. Not exactly great for the shiny, futuristic image that Elon Musk is trying to push. There's also another problem. In Europe, and a lot of other jurisdictions, the Tesla minibus would be legally considered, well, a bus, due to its seating capacity. Generally, personal automobiles are defined as having up to 8 passenger seats. The Tesla minibus would supposedly have 20, and so, no one could reasonably classify it as a car. This would carry numerous other regulatory challenges. For example, here in the Czech Republic, buses are classified into numerous different categories based on the technical specifications of the vehicle. Since the Tesla minibus will supposedly have 20 seats and there don't seem to be any handrails, indicating that the bus is designed only for sitting passengers, this would classify it as a B-class bus. Since there are no accommodations for standing passengers, Class B buses have legally mandated seat belts. Looking at this render of the interior of the Tesla minibus, I can't see any seat belts, which would be a big no-no for this type of bus. I guess passenger safety doesn't fit the futuristic Blade Runner aesthetic that Elon Musk is going for. Now that we have established that we don't have level 5 self-driving cars, and we probably won't for a while, how should we get around? We've got multiple ways of moving around our built environment, without needing Elon Musk to grace our existence with another piece of vaporware. First, a true classic, a time-tested method of transportation, introducing... Your legs. With the power of eating food, your legs can transport you anywhere you want to. You can go whenever you want, wherever you want, 24-7, in any weather. Now, if your destination is a little farther away, a bike may come in handy. Of course, you could use the traditional car, a possible, although a really not scalable solution for cities, proven by the gigantic traffic jams that happen each and every day, as well as the social, economic and environmental concerns. So, you don't want to or can't walk or cycle, and traffic is so bad that taking a car isn't a good option. However, there's another alternative. What if I told you that we already have level 5 autonomous vehicles, and that we have had those since the second half of the 20th century? You already know what's coming. It's trains. We've had fully automated subway lines since the second half of the 20th century. They are a proven, efficient technology, unlike Elon Musk's vaporware promises. In my opinion, we should invest our limited funds into researching things like automated trains, instead of subsidizing Elon Musk making the 50th promise that full self-driving is coming next year. I think we'll eventually get to having full level 5 self-driving cars, but the problem with that is that they are still cars. Self-driving cars won't solve traffic, they will still release brake and tire particles, they will still take up way too much space in cities, etc. The only way to reduce traffic, make our cities more livable, and generally better places to be in, is to reduce and manage individual car traffic, and to encourage cleaner, more economical, and socially inclusive methods of transportation. The solution isn't to contract some egomaniac billionaire to build barely working level 2 autonomous driving tech. It's to properly manage car traffic, and to invest in public transport, walking, cycling, and more sustainable urban planning. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching to the end, you're a real legend. If you'd like to support my work, I have a Ko-Fi page with 3 membership tiers, all of which bring you sweet benefits. There are also affiliate links to the equipment I used to make these videos in the description. Any help would be greatly appreciated. I'd also like to take this time to thank Aero Martian for supporting the channel with the top membership tier. I can't express how grateful I am for the support. Enjoy the bloopers, this has been Tramley and I'll see you next time. Bye! The idea is, you can call the robo-taxi, most likely through an... Most likely... Well, I am most likely to not know how to speak English. <laughs> In its current state, releasing the Tesla Cybercap onto public roads would be a great way to fill up Tesla's legal depo... Le legal depart... Bruh. <laughs> First, a true classic, a time-tested method... Bro, I, I can't anymore. <laughs>
I think we'll eventually get to having full... <laughs> ah. <laughs>